Right. Now, a block of mass, a uh, 2.5 kilogram is pushed 2.2 meter along a frictionless horizontal table by a constant uh, 16 Newton force directed 25 degree above the horizontal. Determine the work done on the block by the applied force, the normal force exerted by the table, the gravitational force, and finally determine the total work on the block. Okay, first of all, we draw the diagram. Okay. Okay. Now we okay draw the x and y axis. Uh, okay, so this is the x axis, right? Uh, the, because this this table is a horizontal table, yeah, horizontal table. Uh, so it's correct, yeah, horizontal table. It's not inclined plane. Okay. okay and then this is the y axis. Okay. Draw a point mass in the middle to represent the object. Okay, a point mass. Now, draw all the forces exerted on the object. Yeah, what are the forces exerted on the object? Um, first of all, it has the weight. Yeah, because it has mass 2.5 kilogram. Uh, so it has the weight, or, or we call it gra gravitational force. This is the Fg, uh, which is also mg. Uh, the value is 2.5, so we just put 2.5 multiplied gravity. Uh, and then 2.2 uh, meter. Yes, uh, we need to draw the displacement later on. Okay. Frictionless. Uh, this table is frictionless, so no friction. Uh, so we can say uh, we so we can say over there the friction is zero. Uh, no friction. No need to draw friction. And then by a constant 16 Newton force. So this is the external force, yeah. External force, so we draw it. Okay, we uh, this is the uh, called uh, the external force F, yeah, big F, and uh, this external force is 25 degree above the horizontal. Uh, so uh, this is the external force 25 degree. Huh? Let me draw again. Yeah, this is the external force. How much is the force? 16 newton. Uh, so we just put 16 newton. It is 25 degree, uh, 25 degree above the horizontal, like that. Okay. So now, uh, what other forces? Yeah, this block is on the table, on the table, so in contact with the surface. In contact with the surface, that means got a normal force in perpendicular. Got a normal force perpendicular to the surface. Uh, so let's draw. Huh? Uh, this is the normal force perpendicular to the surface. Uh, okay. Uh, no friction. Okay. Uh, no friction. So what else you need to draw? Uh, because we're going to find work done. Okay, we're going to find work done. Uh, work done. So the work done formula is F S cos theta, isn't it? So we need the to draw the displacement. Uh, we need to draw the displacement because later on we want to find angle theta. Angle theta. We need to compare each forces, each forces with the displacement. That's why for work done. Work done free body diagram, you must include displacement. Okay, so include the displacement, so it's pushed uh, to the right, so actually the block should go to the right. Yeah? So, okay, uh, so okay, this way, yeah? uh, displacement, okay, uh, this is the direction of displacement. Okay, so now uh, we, we have drawn the displacement. So once we have the displacement direction, uh, we can easily compare uh, the force with the displacement to get angle theta. Okay. So now uh, we need to find work done by each force. Okay. So A, B, C. Let's do it. Okay. So question A. What is the work done by applied force? Uh, applied force means W big F. Uh, so we're using the... F, the external force, dot with displacement. Uh, or it is F, S, cos, cosine, theta. Okay? So, now, what's the, what's the value of force F? It is 16 Newton. Okay, 16 Newton. Displacement is... Uh, oh, actually, I also can put there the value of displacement. Displacement is 2.2 uh, meter. Okay? Easy for me to refer. Yeah? So, uh, displacement is 2.2 meter, and then cosine, okay, what's the angle theta, angle theta between force F and displacement? Ah, so, 
the force F and displacement it is 25 degree ah uh, 25 degree so okay put 25 degree ah uh, that's how I do it yeah make it a uh, red color so that uh obvious for you okay so the angle between force F and displacement is 25 degree okay so let's calculate now okay uh, let's calculate the answer here yeah okay so the answer is um, uh, 31 31.9 yeah 31.9 joule uh, that's the work done is it correct yes it's 31.9 joule so and it is a positive value you see that a uh, positive value yeah positive value what it means it means the uh, it will help to increase the kinetic energy uh, okay uh, uh, Okay, uh, it will help to increase the kinetic energy. So, just want to write it down here. Okay, positive, that is what it means by uh, positive work done. It is work done on the system. Yeah, work done on the system. It will help to increase the kinetic energy because the angle is less than 90. Yeah, less than 90. So, a positive work done. Now, what about the B? B, okay, um, work done by. Uh, normal force. Uh, this is work done by normal force. So you just write W N. Okay, it is the normal force uh, dot with displacement. Normal force dot with displacement. So it's N S cosine theta. Okay. So uh, what is the normal force? Actually, normal force you can find out also. But it uh, in this question, you not necessarily have to find the normal force. Why? Because later on you will see about the angle theta. Okay, I just write it uh, normal force times displacement cosine. Ah, look at the angle theta here. This theta is the angle between normal force, the normal force and the displacement. Ah, yeah, uh, between the uh, normal force and displacement. So, what is the angle between uh, normal force and displacement? Ah, it is perpendicular, isn't it? Ah, uh, ninety degree. So put as ninety. Ah, uh, put as ninety degree. Okay. Ah, uh, so rub it first. Yeah. Ah, uh, so look at here. Cos cosine ninety. If you press calculator, cosine ninety, you will surely get ah uh, zero. Ah, uh, you surely get ah uh, zero. Ah. Uh. So this ah uh, n mul n s multiply zero, you'll get zero also. Uh, you get uh, 0 also. Okay, 0 joule. Uh, so, you not necessarily have to find the value of normal force in this case. Unless the angle theta is, uh, not, is not 90 degree, uh, then you have to find the normal force. But uh, normal force normally is perpendicular to the surface, right? Perpendicular to the surface, perpendicular to the displacement. So, that's why work done is of normal force is 0, 0 joule. So, it has a... Uh, uh, it does not change the kinetic energy. Yeah. So this normal force does not change the kinetic energy. Now look at uh, question C. Yeah. Question C. Uh, question C is about work done by by who? By gravitational force. Work done by gravitational force. So work done by the gravitational force Fg, which is uh, Fg uh, dot with displacement. Uh, so let's find out. Uh, gravitational force uh, okay we so we use gravitational force time displacement cosine theta okay uh, uh, fg is mg because it's the actually it's the same as the weight yeah it's the same as the weight just we don't put the symbol weight because it looks like work done okay we don't want to confuse between symbol uh, mg multiply s cosine theta okay now, uh, what's the ah already got two point five kilogram, isn't it? Uh, so just put twenty uh, two point five, two point five times gravity displacement is uh two point two meter. Okay, two point two cosine. What's the uh, what is the uh, angle theta? Angle theta between uh okay between what between mg mg and s ah huh? between the uh, gravitational force and displacement. What's the angle theta between them? Angle theta between weight, the weight and the displacement. Again, it is 90 degree. Do you see that? It's again 90 degree. Ah, uh, so 
uh, this is cosine 90 again yeah cosine 90 so cosine 90 again we know it is equal to 0 so whatever things multiply 0 you get 0 right uh, so so this part you don't need you don't need to calculate because we know it multiply by 0 multiply by 0 anything becomes 0 uh, okay so it's 0 uh, all right uh, so I just want to wrap this off okay uh, oops sorry uh, uh, sorry uh, never mind okay uh, so that's the displacement okay so what's the answer uh, so is it correct uh, just now the first one is 31.9 joules correct uh, then 0 joule 0 joule is correct yeah uh, because they are all 90 degree perpendicular force uh, perpendicular the force perpendicular with the displacement so that's why it's uh, 0 0 joule yeah uh, it doesn't change the kinetic energy at all okay so that's correct yeah these two are correct now question d uh, what is the total work done total work done that means you have to total up all the work done here uh, to get the total work done okay so question d yeah question d uh, the net work done we call it yeah the net work done is we total up all the individual work done uh, yeah total all the work done by individual forces uh, total up okay uh, we have three work done to total up uh, okay so total them up uh, this are zero zero so it's easy so it's uh, uh, 31.9 plus zero plus zero so in the end we still get what we still get 31.9 okay Joel and it is a positive network done that means uh, as a result the kinetic energy of the object will surely increase. Uh, will surely increase. Uh, okay? Uh, will surely increase because positive work done. Okay, uh, so yeah, that's all for these questions. Very easy.